Hi guys, Sam here. Um, today I'm going to do my January favorites. I'm only a week late, so um, I'm usually pretty on time with these, but I don't know what it was this week. I just like couldn't find the time to film this. So I, ha I made a list and I have it all here. I actually have some unfavorites this um, month, which never happens, but there was just some things I didn't like. I've been buying a lot of stuff from the drugstore. Um, I've been just I'm buying a lot in general because all the new stuff's coming out for spring. So let's get started, okay? Um, I have it all laid out here, so I'm just going to start from over here. Um, I'm going to start with my favorites, just to be clear. Um, this is the Maybelline Master Blush Palette. Um, this is pretty good for a drugstore palette. I think it's from like $10 to $12. I think I spent $12 at um, Ulta. I'm sorry. And this palette is actually amazing. I recommend it. Um, you get four shades in here. Pretty awesome. Um, next is this Artist Couture highlight. Um, I got this in my Beautycon box. These are amazing. This is in the shade Illuminati. It's just like a loose highlight, but I'm obsessed with it. I think I need more. This is just like a little mini one, but yep. I need more. Um, next is the CoverGirl Jewels eyeshadow palette. These are all jewel tones. It says these looks on the back were designed by Pat McGrath, who is awesome. These shadows are powdery, but they perform pretty well on the eye. I, like, I really like the dusty mauve shade and all those like that purple and blue are like so pigmented. I think I've used every color by now, but this is a really, really nice um, drugstore palette. And once again, I think it's like $10 to $12, depending on where you go. This you can only find at Walmart. It came with a brush. I use it in quite a few of my videos, but it is so pigmented. Um, maybe a little powdery when you swatch, but when you put them on your face, they blend out really well. Really pretty, really shimmery, just like your champagne -y shade or like a rosy shade and a gold shade. Good for light skin tones. This is the only like palette they have, so unfortunately they don't cater, I guess, to dark skin tones. It's Drew Barrymore's my line. I don't know why it's like that. I'm sorry, guys. All right, next I have the Stila, what is this? Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I got the shade Kitten Karma because I like the shade Kitten and everything from Stila. Very like champagne-y. This is like really pretty glitter. I know... Some people have been having issues with it. What I do is I try and put it on very last. I get like all my matte shades like all blended out on my outer corner, my crease. And then I just kind of like pat this in on my lid. Or I've used it like underneath. And it's just really, really pretty. These are a little pricey, $24. I really want to get like other ones. But like, like I said, they're $24. And it's a little much for glitter. Um, this is the foundation that's been slaying my existence this month. Um, it's the Wet n Wild Golden Beige, or that's my shade, Wet n Wild Golden Beige, um, foundation, photo focus, whatever. And it's supposed to have like no flashback or whatever. This is $6. It's in a glass tube. And then you've probably seen me apply it if you are not new to my channel, but it has like this little paddle and I just kind of like pat it onto my skin. Um, so I wouldn't share this foundation, but it's really pretty. This is a good shade match for me. I've been really enjoying this and it's only six bucks. I do do two layers, so it's beautiful coverage. And next I have the Makeup Forever Starlit Liquid Powder. Kind of looks like a little nail polish. I probably use this in my videos too. Um, really pretty, really pigmented. I didn't expect to like this at all. I thought I would like the powder more. But I think I like the liquid more, and it's like super pretty. I got the shade 03, and I'll definitely be purchasing more of these. They're very pretty. I kind of want to use it like as an eyeliner, but I need to like use a different brush. Um, next is the Narcissus Cheek Palette, the Unfiltered 2. This is all like pinky shades. Um, very, very pretty. Um, right up my alley. I've really been liking this hot sand highlight. Um, I didn't think I would, but it's actually right up my alley. So that's cool. 
Um, next is this Sephora lip cream in the shade um, 32 Nude Blush. I love this. This feels so good on the lips. It's only $14. I need more shades. Like, that's my goal right now. That and I need a more colored range, single shadows. But so pretty. So, like, feels nice, like, not drying. Like, it's a really good long-wearing lipstick. Um, next is the Urban Decay Glitter, Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. Um, everybody and their mother was talking about this in their yearly favorite, so I picked one up. This is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. I used it all over my eye. I've used it underneath my waterline. I've used it in the inner corner. So pretty. Definitely worth it. I need more. Um, next are the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit uh, Liquid Lipsticks. These are amazing. Wet n Wild really hit it with their spring releases. I'm really excited about these. I have probably like three, like five shades now, and I need some of the darker ones. But this is really, really pretty. This is my favorite shade, Nudie Patootie, obviously. It's a cool tone nude. But really like it. Really long lasting. A little drying, but it's $5. So, like, you got to take what you can get. Next is this. I use the hell out of this. This is the Color Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I'm just obsessed with this. I did a couple videos on this. I mentioned in a haul. I did a review on it. And then I did a Quart Ready With Me. I've used every shade now. I absolutely adore this palette. I just want to use it all the time. I really wanted to use it today, but I filmed this look. So I wanted to um, do something different for you guys so you don't, like, hate me. But... I love this palette. I don't know if it's still in stock. I'll check definitely and let you know. Um, these I got, I think I got these in December. These are the Skin Food Rice Brightening Facial Cleansing Tissues. These are the best makeup wipes I have ever used. You get 80 and I think they were like 13 bucks, but I got them on sale for like 10 bucks. And this is still like super full. And I use them a lot. Like I use them to take off my makeup. I can use one wipe to like take off all this makeup it's amazing so i would definitely check these out i really want to try some more like skincare items from skin food i think they have like this egg mask i really want to try and then like this toner like sake toner that i really want to try so i'm excited okay now we're doing our few unfavorites like bear with me i'm just gonna get this out of the way because i did a whole video on this this is the urban decay d slick um primer I'm returning this. I've been waiting to film this video just so I can show you it. Um, I'll link my video down below. It did very well, but I got really good feedback. But this is horrible. Um, it's not horrible. I Maybe I need to be more oily. I've always considered myself very oily. And I've tried different methods. I even tried it again after I filmed that video like two more times. And it would just like ball up or something like as soon as I put my foundation on and like make my nose look really splotchy and if you're spending $35 on a primer you don't want that like I can go to the drugstore and find a five to ten dollar primer that won't do that and just like you know work so $34 it's not worth your money don't get it um this is the NYX total control foundation I did a review on this first impression this is supposed to like be full coverage it said like four drops it'll give you four full coverage I can use like half this goddamn bottle and it's not full coverage I've been using it a little bit lately just because my skin has been really well but my skin's not always that great and I want a foundation that's going to cover that shit so I'm kind of disappointed in this I was really excited when I saw it I'm like oh it's going to be like the cover FX drops for like the drugstore, but it's not, and it just sucks, you know, but I'll keep using it. I like to mix it in with stuff. I don't know. This is the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid. I got a lot of people talking about this. I don't know. I Maybe I got the wrong shade. I got 200 medium, and I just think maybe it's too dark, but like medium, I'm a medium person. Like I can't use this to strobe with, you know, maybe I can mix it in with my foundation, but I cannot strobe my cheekbones with that, you know? So the first one, the shade 100 for light, is really, really light and really pretty, but I don't know. 
I don't know. The formula is not great, so I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to buy it. All right. Um, there's some technical difficulties and I had issues with uploading. So I just had to like refilm this last little bit of my last two on favorites. So I was talking about this NYX Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter in Crystal Glare. It comes in like this and has like a little doe foot applicator. And I don't know, it just like, it feels weird. It doesn't seem to do much. Like that looks like a little sheeny, but like you put it on your face and it like, I put it, blend it out with my sponge and nothing, like there's nothing there. So I don't know if anybody else could get these to work for them, but I don't know. I don't like them. I'm not a fan. And then my last unfavorite for January is the Fiona Styles Limitless, Limitless Lengths Lash Sculpting Mascara. I will continue to use this. I think I'm going to put some drops of um, like contact solution in it to like maybe make it a little bit more wet. But when I started using it, it literally just felt so dry like right away. Like it still like feels dry. Like I don't know. I am I guess that's the formula because it's been like that. But like Tati was raving about this and I just... I'm not a fan, you know, I don't like it. So I wouldn't rebuy that. I wouldn't buy this. I, I don't know. Unless you're into like super, like, I usually don't mind dry mascaras. I make them work, but this is just like, I put it on my lashes and there's nothing there. All right. So sorry about like the outfit change and the makeup change and like everything, but I've had issues with my laptop. It was just like, I keep saying no disk space, but there like is space, and then I'd like, I don't know, like re-download the OS X, and then I it finally said I had all the space, and now it's working. So that took a day of my time, but thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll see you again next time. Okay, bye.